We're going to turn now to an issue that has people around the country taking sides this morning, all because of a teenager who seems to have issued a kind of cry for help. Several dozen protesters unite today against what they say is an anti-gay organization. We're here to show them that this isn't the only choice. Shame and fear is not the only choice. His parents enlisted him in one of the faith-based programs which claim to help people reject homosexuality. The programs used to be reserved for adults, but now for teens. And here's this young man's story. They were talking about this program Love in Action. I thought I was going into something that was going to make my life worse for like ever. When I realized he was being sent to Love in Action, I was scared because, you know, I knew what they were all about. How can you not protest someone not being able to be themselves? We were going to go there every single day that he had to be in the program in order to support him. It's called Refuge, and it's run by Reverend John Smith as part of a larger program, Love in Action. There were protesters outside, and there was a megaphone, and someone was calling my name, and I just thought, oh my gosh. Shame therapy. It's uh, something that didn't sit very well with me. Knowing that your son, by the age of 30, statistics say that he can either have AIDS or be dead. A lot of what reparative therapists talk deals with stereotypes and not with fact. Some people refer to that as brainwashing. I think it's a semantics, semantics question. They would spin it so that there's no way they can be happy because they're gay. It was really just a matter of if I want to be close to God, I have to end these same-sex attractions. There really was simply no other option. Why are they picking on love and action? You know you can be a good Christian and also be homosexual. 